A dental implant is a small screw that is placed within the bone and it replaces the tooth that is lost. So essentially, it gives you the foundation to build the tooth on top of it. So here I have a sterile packaging where the implant is placed. You undo the packaging and you will see a small screw. This screw is 10 millimeters in length by four millimeters in diameter. And essentially it's quite small. And this is placed into your bone gently and is left for about three months to integrate into your own bone and then you can construct your own tooth. Um, the main advantage of having a dental implant is that you don't damage the adjacent teeth. So here we have a model if the tooth is lost. Conventionally in the past what we would do is we would drill down the adjacent teeth into stumps And then the lab would then make us a bridge. And as you can see that this is a three teeth bridge. And then it's glued into place. And these work very well, but on average they last about 10 years. The advantage of an implant is you don't damage the adjacent teeth. You gently place an implant into the bone. and then the implant is left for a number of months to heal, approximately three months. And then we can start the construction of the tooth. So this is then screwed into the implant, which is known as an abutment. And then the lab will make you your custom tooth to fit. So essentially we've not damaged the adjacent teeth and you'll have an, a separate individual tooth just like what you lost previously. That's a good question. I have quite a few patients who ask if it's going to be painful. Essentially we have a lot of patients and it is quite surprising that don't have to take any painkillers, even though we supply them with painkillers here. Um, obviously, you're having a surgical procedure done. There will be some discomfort, but it can be controlled with normal everyday painkillers that you have at home. The most important thing to me is to make the procedure as comfortable as possible for my patients. I have seen a lot of patients over the years as an implant dentist, and we have regular patients coming back having multiple implants after their first experience has been quite good. Over the last 10 years, what we have found with dental implants, the long-term success is based on good oral hygiene. In the past, there wasn't as much emphasis because the patients thought it was a lifetime restoration. But now we know that the patient has to clean effectively around their implants to maintain the long-term success. Essentially, what I recommend my patients to do is to use one of these electric toothbrushes. The best one, when you look at the evidence, is if you use a circular rotating osmium, a toothbrush. They're far more effective at cleaning the bacteria around your teeth and your implants. And you can also use one of these electric toothbrushes. And the advantage of these is that you can gently cup the tooth and work more effectively and efficiently in the right surfaces. So I tell my patients to use this as if you're cleaning a marble. And if you clean a marble, you'll be cupping the tooth or cupping a marble so that you'll be able to get to where the bacteria is, essentially where the gum and the teeth meet. Only are you cleaning the three surfaces of the teeth with your electric toothbrush, you're using the outside, the top and the inside. You also want to clean in between the implants and that's when you would use one of these incident brushes. And this is very, very important that you utilize these on a daily basis and you would put them through the spaces between your teeth so that you will remove the bacteria around 
these areas of the teeth so therefore you reduce the likelihood of gum disease or your implants having gum problems in the future. The success rate of an implant is 90%. There are some studies out there that do suggest that the success rate is 95%. The long-term success of an implant is approximately 15 years and this is based on good gum health. So there is also evidence to show that they can last many more years than 15 years. But because I'm a specialist in periodontics, a gum specialist, I give my patients the knowledge to maintain their implants for many years to come by giving them the correct oral hygiene instructions.